so just, yeah, help yourself to the candy in this tin. All right, so just, yeah, help yourself to the candy in this tin. Um, does everyone know what a QR code is? Like, you know what they look like? All right. They're actually very easy to do, you know, but there are a lot of steps involved, but they're pretty so it gets a little tricky. The first few times I made them, it took me a while, but now I can go through them pretty quickly. So the first thing you need to do is open up PowerPoint. So you can do pictures or text, or you can even link to websites, um, anything with a QR code. Anything that you can get a web link or a web address for, you can put in a QR code. So we'll start with a picture, we'll go through the process, and then we'll do it again with some text. Do you need a laptop? actually in PowerPoint. So the first thing we want to do is insert a picture. And I think everybody got the email I sent that had the clip art. Um, so if you want to pull that up, or you can just use <coughs> any clip art that you can you find on your laptops. Um, so you go to insert, and then picture. So when they, when the kids scan the QR code, it's going to pull up this picture. So just <coughs> insert a picture. And I, I use, usually because we're using, the, we have iPods in our classroom, so since the screen is small, I sometimes will make sure that the picture is a little bit smaller and I try to center it so that it will show up on the screen and they don't have to resize anything or move anything. So the first step is open PowerPoint. If you want to use a picture, you insert a picture. Everybody have that? All right. The next step, you go to File, Save As. Now this is when it gets a little bit tricky, especially if you're making a whole bunch of QR codes. You want to name them so that you will remember what it is, or at least it'll give you an idea of what's on that, that file. So I'll just name this one Jackie Robinson. And then you want to save it as a PDF. So this is the easy part. So you're just creating one PowerPoint slide and saving it as a PDF. All right, everybody got that part? All right. Now here comes the, the tricky part. So you need to open up Internet Explorer. Huh? No. going to go to <coughs> sites.google.com. In order for QR codes to work, you have to have a place that you can upload your file that will create a web link. The best way to do that is using Google Sites. On the back of your instructions, there are directions on how to do that. I went ahead and set up a Google Sites that we can all use today, so you'll, we can go through the steps so you'll understand how it works. All right, so you go to sites.google.com, So the sign the the sign in 
for today is F8 All Stars at Gmail. Password is Fall Hamilton. F A L L H A M I L T O N. That's your sign in. All right. So it should come up where you see this page. Have I got that? Yeah. Your like, email? Yeah. Once you have a Gmail account or a Google account set up, you'll come to this page, and th that won't be there. And you can just click create, and then it'll, you'll give it a name. And then you'll have, and so instead of Paul Hamilton's QR code, it would say Susan Williams. And they only hold up like 100 megabytes. So like mine get full really quick. So I just add another one. Becky, did you get it? Sites.google.com. Then you click where it says more, up here in the upper right hand corner, and go down to where it says manage site. Click on that. And then you clicked on manage site, right? Okay. On the left hand side, you want to click on attachments. Bring this page up. Okay. Where's the more? Up, upper right hand corner. Oh. Click on this. Okay. And then it'll be in the upper right hand corner. All right. So this is where you upload your PDF. So when we were back in PowerPoint and we created the PDF file, this is where you will upload that. So click on upload. And then you'll have to find wherever you saved your PDF file. I find that file. So you just click OK and it will upload it. All right, so now everybody has their FH Star at gmail.com. All right, so does everybody, is everybody at this page? Okay, so whatever, you can use any of them now. Um, where it says download, that's actually the web site that your QR code will direct to. So when you scan the code, it's going to go to that address. So you want to right click on the word download. So try copy shortcut. Like I know on my Mac, I think it says copy link. Um, some, it may even say copy. You just want to copy that. Okay. I've got, I'll give you directions on that stuff. Okay, so now we go back. All right, so we can do it on here. So you open a new tab. And you want to type in QR 
Step.com. There's also another one, another website that I use called QR Generator. They both do the same thing. So it looks like this. Website URL, and if you click in it, right click and paste, and it should paste that address that we copied from our sites.google.com. Okay. And where it says download QR code, just click that, save. Says down just over here. Oh, okay, over here. Yep. And then you can open it. And there's your code. <coughs> Did everybody get through all of that? Then do you run this all and have it on paper for yeah. the kids to? Yeah. So what you can do is when you download it, it's, it just saves it as an image. So it's like a picture file on your computer. So what you can do is go back to PowerPoint. And you can actually insert your QR code. So once you've downloaded it, it downloads as a just a picture, and then you can just you can insert it into PowerPoint or even Word. So we'll just clear my pictures down on there. Yeah. Yep. Copy and insert it. Yep. And then it's there. So did I utterly confuse everybody? You just insert them what? Like it's like so you want to insert some code? It says insert a picture, just like you're inserting clip art or an image. So I just opened. I need to save it. Yeah. Well, if you click download, it should have saved it on there. That's in your download. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Save it as yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, and that's the other. That's the other tricky thing. Is that there's no way to rename it before you save it. So it just saves it some random, random number file name. So what I do when I'm creating like a whole bunch of Codes is I'll make a folder on my computer. So like right now I'm working on subtracting to 10 QR codes. So I have a folder that's subtracting to 10. And so I set it up so that they all download into that folder. So I'll at least know that those are subtracting. I've not yet got to work on my phone yet. Tell me a good QR reader program because QR reader both of these took me to free. Amazon. And the other one I use is Scan. And sometimes it's free and sometimes it's 99 cents. Is it an app on your phone? Yeah. Or, I get it. or you, can, it's on, you can get it on your iPad. My scan. Uh, Mine didn't work. Weird. I mean, I might have right. never worked on your other ones. This one didn't work on mine either. Mine took me to Android. Amazon. Yeah, sometimes Android Yay. phones are Sorry. a little tricky. They don't necessarily like. But if you have iPads, or the iPod, like we have those iPods, Can they will work. Like it works? I mean, mine hasn't worked yet. You just hold it up to it, and it will. Oh, wait. Yeah. Any questions? Have you copy, have you yep, see? Yay. You can get my iPad. They, they, like, you have, like, your, yeah, iPod. on the iPod, you get an app called QR Reader. It looks, the and so, version of Windows you can just scan it. But I mean, they have more. Oh, I use it for sync. Like I just 
print them off and laminate them and stick them in a tube. But I mean, what goes on there? I mean, how do the kids do they put instructions on there? Yeah. They like they, they, they pretty much know what to do with them. Well, then you're absolutely right. And then I keep them working. Like when I, I make them, like. You don't always give them the QR code. There's something on top of it. Yeah. Or no, it'll be a, like when, in our center, they have a card. They'll have a stack of cards. And it'll just be a code. It's, it's just oh. a code. Yeah. And I, when, I, like, when they pull the bag out, it'll say numbers. It'll say add. It'll say subtract. So they'll know what they're going to do when they scan the code. So it's just a code. Yeah. It's just a code. I'll put a border around it. Maybe a, I try to put the borders in different colors so I can keep the cards organized. And then when they scan it, what happens? It pops up. So, like, so this one we, okay, let's do another one and then I'll, maybe it'll make a little more sense. All right. So we'll do it again. Alright, so everybody go back to PowerPoint. Okay, let me ask a question. Okay. I was trying to insert and I can't find it. Did it save into your download? It file? should have gone into your downloads. There was, but I pushed the A and actually add the RGB and then I have to work. So then I know where it's saved and then I'm able to get it. That little arrow beside the name is the same way that I can see it. Click on that arrow. Yes. Oh, and there goes my power. No, oh, maybe. I'll click open folder. No, it's and it'll fine. tell you where it is. Yeah, it's that down. Great. Is it each picture gets its own separate QR code? Yes. Yeah, when you're creating your original file, you have to do it one. It's a single slide. So, like last night, I made 50 subtraction problems, and so I had to make, I had to go, I had to type in the subtraction problem, save it as a PDF. Come back to PowerPoint, type in the next one, save it as a PDF. You can't do like a whole thing of 50 slides and then save them, because it saves it as a document, and then that doesn't work when you want to link your code to it. So it has to be done as one slide, save as a PDF. New slide, save as a PDF. So what, what are you linking your code to? To whatever. You, sorry, go ahead. You, you weren't here for part of that. So we'll go back through it, and I think it'll make more sense. All right? So let's go through the steps again, and this time instead of a picture, we'll do text, all right? So we start in PowerPoint, all right? Do you do a whole new PowerPoint? Well, like once... Because you've saved it as a PDF. Like, I don't save the actual PowerPoint. I just save it as a PDF, so the PowerPoint will stay open. And so I just come back to the slide and delete this picture and put in a new picture, or delete the text and type new text. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So this time, instead of a picture, we'll do some. We'll do text or word. 